Well guys, good morning on a very snowy chucker hunt. I'm out by myself today, Jordan is working, and there's about four inches of brand new snow on the ground, so I am pretty damn excited to get out and chase some birds today. Uh, it's just me and Doyle. We're at a spot we've been to a few times before, um, a spot that's a little closer uh, to where we live and wasn't too treacherous with the new snow since I'm by myself. So um, we're gonna head up right now and get after it. It's been really slow going so far because of the snow. When I initially got out of the truck, there was, you know, four or five inches of fresh snow. It's more like a foot of fresh snow. <laughs> I didn't really want to come up this high and I thought maybe they would be in these cliff bands up here where they could get out of the snow, but we're gonna drop down. It's where there's a little less snow. I've seen birds lower than this at this spot when there was no snow. So with this amount of snow, it had to have pushed them down. I'm following some tracks right now, guys. But they're a little older. And I don't know which way they're going. Hopefully, I'm following them the right way. Well guys, we finally got into some birds. We've been busting our hump out here. The snow is so deep. It's been so slow. Finally got on some tracks. They were seemed old at first and they got fresher as we went. Doyle went on point, but I could see the tracks left the little feeding area they were in and we tracked them all the way up to the top of this little point where I'm at now and, oh, they got up and I thought I missed. I knew I hit one that's like kind of separated from the group. I thought I missed them all and, uh, I come over the hill and Doyle's bringing one back to me. So that's a happy surprise and one I really needed because after what we've done this morning, to finally get into a group of birds and not get one would have been pretty heartbreaking. But we got one, we're gonna go find the rest. Well, I'm having trouble uh, buying a bucket today. We did get that one bird. Since then, it's been slow and snow. Come across a couple other set of tracks, but they were not fruitful in birds. And just now, as I'm crossing this little ravine, <laughs> like 20 birds got up way out in front of me. I'll show you guys where they were here. So, right underneath this little ledge right here, a bunch of birds just got up. Oh, yeah, that's what I get for thinking that was all of them. Good boy, Doyle. Good boy. 
King Among Dogs. When I came around the corner, I had a pretty good idea that I thought they'd be in this little depression right here. I didn't want to go any further because I was just like, you know what, it's getting toward the afternoon and you know, this is treacherous and I just don't want to push on. Like, I'll just stand here and if they get up, they get up. And sure enough, they did. I missed the first one, he's pretty far. And then one loner got up at the end and I crushed him. You guys may have noticed today that I'm using a different shotgun than I normally do. A uh, brand new shotgun I've been looking at getting is a Franke. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, and so that's what this is. My buddy Travis was nice enough to let me borrow his shotgun for the day. Um, this is the Franke Affinity 3 with the black synthetic stock. Uh, so far, I've been shooting pretty well with it. I have a couple birds and I'm feeling pretty good about it so far. Man, I need three shots a lot. So I like having a gun that holds more than two and five is just gravy. If I get this model shotgun, which I think I probably will after shooting it today. I do like the feel of it, but um, I've mentioned this before on the channel, but I'm more of a Woodstock guy. Um, so the black synthetic is cool, but uh, if I get it, I'm definitely getting the wood. Well guys, I'm standing now about where those birds got up underneath this ledge. This track's all in here. So, when they flew, they got up here and sort of just went around this corner. So I'm gonna sort of follow that and hope that I can find them. Well, I guess I better go down there. Well guys, I didn't get the camera on in time for that first shot. I did get it on in time for the last two. Uh, so I got three birds out of that group. You can see there's a spot of blood right here. And there was some blood there. And there's a bunch of little spots where there's feathers here. There's a feather right there, a couple feathers here. And there's this really treacherous ledge right here. But if you look just far enough over the ledge, you can see my bird down there sitting in the snow. So it was stone dead. Just couldn't find it because it rolled off this edge. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be a challenge to get this bird. What is going on? Whoa. Yeah, we gotta get down to the bottom somehow. Well, it's gonna have to slide in here. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, nice job, Doyle. Oh, super easy. We ended up getting five birds, which is nothing to scoff at. And it was overall a great day. We had to work hard. As you can tell, I'm still out of breath, even though I'm walking on the road now. If you guys enjoyed the video, Appreciate it if you gave us a thumbs up and left us a comment. And if you like our channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, guys.